Today is second pour! <laughs> that was only slightly delayed. I'm getting better at that. I felt good with that one. That was so today great. we're going to try uh, Connemara 12-year peated single malt Irish Listen, whiskey. I can only pay in calamari flan. So, second pour right after this? Right after this. So here we are, Jeffrey. Second part, my name's Jeff. And I am Zane. And today we are going to review... An Irish Scotch. If that's it, anything. It's in such a thing, right? It really is. It's like, I feel like with this whiskey, the, the Irish are trying to steal from the Scots. And here's the thing, is the closer to Ardbeg you get, the more you can get away with stealing that ish. That's right. So let's talk about it. This is Camara Peated Single Malt Irish Whiskey. It's an age statement whiskey of 12 years. And it is distilled by... Kilbegan. Kilbegan. Which has exactly. the oldest pot still in the world. Which you can see our discussion here. That's right. And or also, it it's also owned by Suntory. Damn it. Then, which is another Jim Beam product. Then, sort of, kind of. Them guys get their fingers into everything. <clears throat> they do. So, Conmara Peated Single Malt Whiskey is 40% ABV, 80 proof. Yeah. It's a peated Irish whiskey. It's mash bill basically is barley, malted barley. It's distilled by Kilbegan Distillery and it runs about 70 to $75. Now that's pricey. A little pricey, but it's 12 years. The proof is on par to most Irish whiskeys. It tastes very similar though to the Islay area of Scotland, which yes. would be more friendly with Ardbeg. <laughs> so you're in your happy place today. Ah, uh, yes. Now let's let, let's nose this. Yeah, let's do this. See, I got excited when I smelled it. Of course you did, because this is like, hey, Ardbeg, I'm your cousin. Yeah, it's a cousin. For sure. We were just across the pond. Now, it does have less of the, what people refer to, the tire smell. Less of the, the oil. The... Yeah, that's not there, for sure. It does seem to have the more gentle Irish, I'm your friend. I'm your friend. I'm going to make let's, you drink a lot. Of... Let's get shit faced together. I'm going to make you drink more than you realize you're drinking. And you're drinking more than you think you're drinking. And next thing, but it does have a very similar smell to what you would expect. It does smell like an Islay area of uh, Scotland. Area. You're correct. I mean, it's not your typical Irish whiskey. Yes, no, it is not. Now, I'm mean. gonna be honest, with the Islay coming in on this thing with the peat, peat tends to overwhelm my senses. Right, however, because I drink so much of that, I'm catching a lot of nuances about this that it actually goes beyond that initial smell. What are you getting? Okay, I'm I can, curious. I'm getting an actual real floral note mm -hmm. that's hidden behind that over peatiness, the oily or whatever. And there's a dessert smell. I don't know how to describe it. It's a candied smell. Really? Yeah, there's a, there's a sweetness to it that's that you don't pick up necessarily when you're smelling something that really is like an island scotch. Well, I know it sounds crazy. Yeah. But the first scent that I get out of this other than the peat. Today's episode is brought to you by our first sponsor, Irish I, Spring. They're not a sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> it smells like soap. Soap, damn it. All right, look. look. <laughs> Listen to me. Right here. Yeah. It's not there, but what I will tell you is. It's soap. <laughs> All right. All right, Bloody let's talk pants. about the nose on this. Tell me what the damn nose is. Creme brulee. Yeah. Singed flowers. I'm getting the fruit, fruity, flowery smell. Yeah. Dense spices. For sure. Province herb soap. Yeah, but that's not I understand. <laughs> I still smell soap. Well, you I can... never smelled soap on a whiskey before. Yeah, I mean you can. It's on the end for me. It's like okay, peat, and then maybe the cream brulee, and then soap. Yeah, I get the flowers and. And the peatiness. The difference between this and Irish Spring soap is that I would wash cleaner? my body in this and I would not wash myself in Irish Spring soap. Well, what's wrong with Irish Spring? Are you a dial guy? I am a dial guy. <laughs> <laughs> dial, do your stuff. <laughs> what I'm saying is I got I do think that this has a lot of complication in the nose for oh, sure. Oh for sure. This is a complicated whiskey. All right, let's uh let's try it. Let's do it. So 
So, typical Irish whiskey. It's very mild, not real spicy, not real hot. The ILA goes away very fast. Yeah, it's a. Yeah, it does. It, that whatever it is that they're doing to peat this or to make it. Now the peat kind of hangs out. Well, but we're talking. About, I'm talking about that oiliness. Yeah, it's not. As, it's not as heavy as hard bake. Yeah, no, not at all. But but you're right. That smoky peaty Irish Spring. Not the Irish Spring. <laughs> the smoky peaty part. Yeah, that that's lingering, mid mid mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's yeah. yet to go away. Yeah, it's a really quick. To me, it's a really quick finish. Left with that. Yeah. And that's what you have left tasting, right? Yeah. So okay. So palate on this, it is praline, vanilla bean, exotic peppercorns. Now, let's clarify something for a minute. Is that like peppercorns that exotic have a French accent? Peppercorns. Oh, I am a peppercorn. I am here. Come with me. I am to mess with your skin. They do a lot of this because it's a town. Would it just be an American peppercorn? Hey, yo! I got some some good whiskey over I'm here. I'm not on a thirty thirty straight. We take you out on the out, you know. I mean, I put a lot of peppercorn in here. Or would it be in Oklahoma and, you know. Did you guys see that there peppercorn? Howdy, there? y'all. I see y'all got yourself some whiskey. That looks pretty good. Go ahead and pour me some. You know, it's that kind of thing. My guess is a blend of all. That way it's exotic. So it's like a fucking mutt of peppercorn. <laughs> so exotic means. It's the Benji of peppercorn. Hey, this bring is that the one out. Heinz 57 of peppercorn. That's right. Okay, so we have a, a whiskey. That doesn't, it's not from Scotland, it's you're, from Ireland. You're becoming very dramatic. All right, have you drank a lot today? Uh, a little bit. <laughs> so we got a whiskey. It's got a lot of whiskey. <laughs> a whiskey. A lot of hands. It's not from Scotland, but it tastes like it's from Scotland. And it's got peppercorn from the United States. Because it's exotic. <laughs> now that's funny. Actually, that could be the case. <laughs> they could be having our peppercorns. Oh, Never God, know, right? Some funny shit. Yeah, I know, right? So at this point right now, we've got the... Melting pot of whiskey right here in front That of is it. Now, is it good? Oh, yes. Let's talk about the finish. Yeah. I, what are you getting out of this on the finish? So the finish is a traditional Irish whiskey. Very quick, very fast, flash on the palate, left with what they're doing to make the peat. Uh, it's, it's like... It's very bipolar. Here's the finish on this. It's dry, long, very long. Yeah, it is. Evolving honeyed cereal and grassy. Okay, cereal, no. Honey. Mm -hmm. Honey, I ain't getting honey out of this. I'm... Okay, okay. Uh, you're cereal, honey, grass. Are you let's cereal? See. Let's see, let's see. All right, let's go. So, to me, it's a very short finish. Is they're saying very long? I'm saying very short. It's because all the finish, the where they're getting the length is just because of the the peat. The peat hanging out. That's not fair. No, that's that's like that's like saying that you know you're gonna drink uh, a pint of of oil and and not it's like anything but oil. It's like having a long finish on salsa. Well, of course it's still hot. <laughs> I think your analogy is hella better than mine. I know. <laughs> I don't know where you were going with the oil. Well, uh, all I'm saying is, is <laughs> point number one. Okay, let's review it. This is a two. <laughs> Bullshit. It's, it's a two. It's a two. The reason is, is there's better whiskeys that do what this is doing, I feel like, at a better price point. Yeah. And if you're wanting to go the route of the ILA flavoring. Just go to Scotland. <laughs> oh, honestly. It's Ardbeg or, or nothing else, right? There's a lot others over there than Ardbeg. There's just Ardbeg, right? No. Yeah, that's it. No. If you say Lugavallen, I'm going to kick your ass. Lugavallen? Yeah, that's what, I, that's what everybody <laughs> says. Lugavallen. It's just Lugavallen, oh, right? Lugavallen? It's not Lugavallen. It's because that doesn't exist. Are you exist. from Oklahoma? That's what I'm trying to say. It exists. Ron Swanson's been there. Yeah, well, he has Guinness mixed into it, and it doesn't count. Or it, it does counts. It. Oh, we're gonna find this out. Soon. What? Yeah, what I'm gonna say is this much: is this is not bad. It's not a bad whiskey. When I give it a two, it's not because it's ass. We already had a second pour. We have to give it a two. I've had a second pour on my second pour, actually. That <laughs> so would be third man, pour. I'm gonna drink this. I, I, I get happy places. All I'm saying is, is the things that make me happy about this, I can find happier places to do it. I got an idea. I, I haven't even drug it out yet. Why are you finishing your glass already? Look, there's time in the day. All I can say is, yes, please. 
<laughs> I'm getting glasses from everywhere right now. I was like, all I did was just make a bottle appear. Oh, look, it's art bag. Uh, what I'm gonna do is take this art bag and this Connemara. Oh my God, if you... Can we say fuck on YouTube? So if we take a little bit of art bag, just a tiny okay, bit. Okay, that's good. Just a tiny bit. Hang on, I'm not done yet. Bring that glass bag over here. Fucking done. <laughs> there you go. I'll, I'll be fair. I'll play the game. There. Oh, thank you. I'll be sure to swash that around. <laughs> That got rid of all that shit. All right, so now I got to look. Oh, Lord. Look. Now, tell me that's not an ILA scotch sitting in front of us. It is an ILA scotch because 99% of it is uh, hard day. Same color. In the bottle. Actually, you know it what? It didn't change the color in the glass either, did it? It is slightly darker, maybe. Maybe, maybe. I'm telling you, wow. I'm glad we're not drinking anything else today because I'm not gonna taste anything but truck tire. You know what? Goodyear called, they'd like their tires back. And they can go straight to hell because so, I'm gonna drink every last ounce of their fucking tires. <laughs> if you had Connemara, is this 12 years something that you like? Do you like Eile Scotches? Is this just another space that you can kind of hang out in yeah. and get a, a scotch when you're not buying a scotch? Yeah. And to be fair, on closing, I only gave it a two, not because it wasn't good. That's a good whiskey. It's just that uh, they're trying to get into somebody else's wheelhouse that's so much better at what they do. Yeah, I would I would have to agree with that. And the price point is really mm -hmm. what sold me on where my rating is. Mm -hmm. If this had been $20 cheaper, this would have been a three finger, no problem. Now this is not the only- They're trying to be somebody else. This is not the only peated single malt whiskey, Irish not. whiskey that tastes like this, but this is very much an Isla Scotch tasting Irish whiskey. It's a two. Yeah, so here's the thing. If you can find this at a good price, I would Buy tell it. you to jump on it. If you can get it for 30 bucks. Yeah, it's good. Jump on it. Um, 70 I'm bucks. I'm gonna have fun helping him finish this bottle. Yeah, after he finishes my art bag. Well, you know, shit happens. In the meantime, you guys continue to be cool this week. Be safe out there, drink safe, have fun with your friends. And subscribe for no fucking reason, because we love you. No, subscribe because you love us. us. <laughs> <laughs> and we didn't even practice that. Cheers, guys. Cheers, guys. Cheers, guys.